What's up guys? Skyrim here. Thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with me. This is again this is Definite Marsh. He's a fellow follower on my Twitter account, so really nice to have a battle against him. I actually had this battle during my live stream, but I decided to narrate it because it was actually a really fun one and actually a very creative one. Definite Mars is using, you know, Miss Magius. Hate that poke. I got swept by that thing so many times. Actually, so many times I actually adjusted a strategy to actually survive it. Uh, Polyrath, Dusclop with Evilite, um, Sceptile, um, My Mighty Ina, right? That Moxie set always, always tough to deal with. And Glaceon. So, yeah. A really tough team. I'm definitely fearing always Miss Magius. Dusclop is going to be tough to deal with too because of that Evilite boosting. I myself is using pretty much the same team I had throughout the week here. Uh, I actually forgot Kecleon and left my Swift Swim Melodicolo here. So yeah, it didn't do too much, but definitely I missed my defensive core, which is a good defensive core against Miss Mages. So I was actually really scared of that, and um, well, let's just say that uh, I did some good switches this game, but Definite Marsh really, really, really pressured me a lot here. And uh, it came out to a really close game. So, other than that, guys, enjoy. So, in the beginning here, I actually started off with my camera just on 11E because I know the 11E is so obvious that I can't really bring it in. So, anyway, sort of like I said, with a uh, camera, and I get, definitely get a good matchup here against Glaceon. But because I didn't know if I want to go for Frost Breath or not, I decided to go for a Lava Plume. And he did that really, really well. And I can't do anything against Paul Rat. And I can't take a waterfall. So I need to switch out. And I'm going to go into my Gramble there. Just to lower its attack, really. I mean, this thing can't do anything against me. So you go for Power Punch. And you know, I'm fully. I'm actually really healthy after that leftovers. And uh, I'm just going to go for Play Rough here. Because I just want to get some damage done. I could have gone for Thunder Wave, but I decided to. You know what? What the hell? Let's do it. So yeah, the play rough won't do anything against Dusclops, but I do predict him to go for a will o wisp here, so I'm just going to go right back into Kamaroth. And I know that this thing really can't do anything, at best it could go for a Night Ace, a Night Shade, so I'm just going to go right away from Eruption this time. And, well, now I'm really doing damage against this Polar Rat. Uh, it's still in no means where I can actually, you know, stay in for a hit to KO it, because I can still take a Waterfall. Uh, I can't see like a Warhol. So anyway, going into my 11e here, getting the stick wave up because I do need it for Kingler, and he's gonna go right into his place on there. And I don't see 11e, you know, as a good use here. So I'm just gonna get some damage, see if this is gonna scarf really, which it wasn't, which is great. So I get an honest chance here to um, do some damage and pretty much sacking my 11e. I feel sorry for him. He always dies. So anyway, it's my Phoenix, I did knew it was gonna switch out, so I decided to go for a knockoff instead of a Drain Punch, and well, that really, really sucked for him. Uh, I can't say for Dazzling Gleam though, so I'm gonna go back to my camera off. Really just, you know, get the resisted damage going, because I knew that that was his safest move, really. So yeah, <laughs> I was feeling, I was kinda, you know... I got so many predictions down here that I've started to get very, very arrogant and, you know, not thinking too well what I was doing. And I actually, I'm playing somewhat good as right now, but I did, like I said there, I got too comfortable and I actually invited him for the game. So anyway, get that task out of the way and that is really fine uh, because now I know he has no defensive wall left. I still have to switch out against um, Polarath because I still can't do anything with my camera off, obviously. Plus, his uh, Polar Rock would die if we have to switch into Camera now uh, in the range of HP it was, plus Lava Plume. So, my Waterfall won't do anything. Um, and I don't see the uses for my Gramble anymore, so I'm just gonna go for a Play Rock another time if I remember quickly. And I know my uh, Gramble isn't very special defensive, but as I said there, I so kind of thought I have no reason to have it around because of the Rocky Helmet there. Uh, or not the Rocky Helmet, the Stick Web is taking it down, but it goes for an Ice Shard, getting some damage. You know, that's really fine. And I go for Close Comet for some reason, which afterwards, you know, that, that was probably the stupidest thing I ever done, because there was no reason for me to go for that. And, like I said, I felt I didn't need my Scrappy anymore, so I just decided to Scrappy. Uh, just, I didn't need my Gramble anymore, so I'm just gonna try to take this one out, and he takes my Gramble out. 
And that is actually... I didn't think that was gonna matter, but I just... I did some weird switch here to, into my Kingler. Probably this thing got uh, energy balls, so I have to switch into my Camarot. And I don't take Shadow Ball that well, even though I am a Salt Vessel, so two Shadow Ball will be almost enough to take it out. So now, I don't have an, any special defensive wall at the moment, which is really, really tough, because I can't do anything against the Sceptre at the moment. So the Sceptre is going to be caught in the stick wave there, obviously, and is it actually a physical one who will take me out with an Earthquake? So that is actually really tough. So I decided to give my Kingler because I thought, you know what, I can at least take it out with a knockoff. That is a choice for a knockoff, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Try no. <laughs> so you get some damage done there. I obviously, you know, almost kill it. You get the quick attack off, obviously. But now it's the worst part is that it doesn't really matter because his Might the Yena has Sucker Punch. And, well, ugh, pretty much uh, wasted my Kingler there for nothing. I should definitely have gone for a few hits on the Sceptile before actually pulling off a knockoff there. So anyway, Phoenix is in. Uh, I knew it was going to go for play rough. I'm not going to survive it rather well, so I'm just going to go for Drain Punch. Pretty much finished the job there. And, yeah. <laughs> I only got one poke left, and that is going to be the Polar Wrath. And, you know, I have Mach Punch. So, sadly for uh, Definite Mars here, he will not be able to pull through. And I'll have finished the job here. Uh, so there was actually, because of I did some weird uh, like switch-ins, it actually got to a really close game. And yeah, Definite Mars, I really like this game. Uh, or Definite Mars, sorry. Uh, I called you Dentist Mars for some reason, okay, though I like that. Uh, <laughs> like I said, it turned out to be a really, really close game. And I actually enjoyed it a lot there. So thank you for that. And I got this picture. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Look at Polar Rat, it looks so weird. <laughs> it's the little things life makes me laugh. Um, yeah, other than that, guys, I mean, I'll upload in tomorrow at least uh, one battle. It's gonna be the stream battle against Pocket Player because it was a really interesting battle. I don't feel I have to narrate it because it was actually really interesting in his raw material. Other than that, guys, I've been working on an outro, so <laughs> watch that for a while. And other than that, guys, you know what? Peace! Right? Take care, guys. Bye. If you want more Enyu tier battles, make sure to check out my friends. From the left side we've got Sir Higgins, then me, then just me, Wall, and Anima. We are doing daily uploads on Enyu battles, and we're always searching for battle through our Twitter and our YouTube channels. So make sure to check us out. Other than that guys, you'll find a link to them down below. Or just press their picture. So other than that guys, thank you as always for watching, and don't forget to leave a like. Alright, take care guys. Bye.